Well, grace and joy to you, family. Happy New Year. And welcome back to another Monday morning Man a Moment. Hey, a thought for our time together today. From the Gospel according to Luke chapter 10, verse 38 through verse 42. Now it happened. As they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister who was called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, Jesus, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part, and that will not be taken away from her. Beloved, what a familiar story we have all heard about the narrative of Martha. In this passage today, we encounter our sister who was hosting a party for Jesus. Now, her initial zeal for Jesus was service. However, this zeal, it leads her down a path of stress and distraction, causing her to miss a profound lesson on hospitality. So today in this Devo, let's glean some insights that may enrich our own understanding of the ministry of hospitality as we, as we serve one another here on campus. Now, check this out. Martha's decision to invite Jesus to her home speaks volumes about her character. She had a willingness to inconvenience herself. She was one who could be relied upon, and her skills were necessary for ministering to Jesus and his disciples because he was no ordinary guest. He was the Messiah, the Emmanuel of God. What an opportunity to experience his presence to serve him, and to do ministry at this level. It kind of reminds me of the opportunity I had as a pastor in the inner city in Fresno. I asked God to give me an opportunity to work with those who were without homes and hungry and living on the streets, and he did that. He gave me a wonderful privilege and a wonderful zip code. And you know, over time, I got weary. I started to complain. I started to murmur. Then I almost despised those that I was called to serve. What happened? I let my zeal for service take me off of my focus for who I was doing it for. Have you ever been there? Have you ever found yourself irritated at the very thing you asked God to give you permission to do? Well, the Martha mentality, it runs deep in all of us family. So it's crucial for us to recognize when serving becomes a burden. Let's indicate these shifts and ask God for a God-centered reminder this year that we don't become self-centered, but that we be God-centered. So let's ask God to impart to us divine wisdom and insight as we serve those all around us right here in our own beautiful ministry. Well, thank you for watching. This is the beginning of this spring semester's Manna Moments. I'll be coming to you over the next 15 weeks with reminders that will draw us closer together as we do life with God together. Let me pray for us now. Father, thank you so much on today. Thank you for bringing us safely into the new year. Thank you for all of the opportunities we will have this year to minister to others not like us, others all around us in different departments, in different places and spaces in life, and help us to be mindful that serving you is not a burden and serving others is our gift from you. So help us to remember that and help us to not have this mentality, Lord, and we will give you honor and glory for all the things that you allow us to do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Welcome back, family. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Have a glorious start to this amazing new year. Peace.